All right guys, welcome to another lesson. Let's talk about recording guitars, okay? I wanna show you how I record my things. I'm gonna show you the stuff that I use, the gear that I use, as this is one of the most asked questions that you really wanna know how I record my guitars. Now, for some reason, when I read the comment, I have the feeling that you think that I use a lot of stuff when I actually don't. I don't use a computer, I don't use a loop station, I don't use a drum machine, and I don't use mics, okay? Everything is recorded with my guitar, and a pocket recorder, which is a small recorder, and also a multi-effect that I use for delay and reverb, okay? Now, let's just take it step by step. Now guys, starting with the guitar, that's an awesome guitar, and you got a pickup here, and also a condensed mic inside. Now, I never use this pickup, it's always off, so I only use the mic inside. In fact, if I record and talk at the same time, you can hear my voice. Hello. 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 Now, as you can see, I have uh, reverb and delay. So I never use external microphones. Uh, the guitar is literally plugged in. The type of sounds that I like is full of delay and reverb. So I will have my Boss GT10, which I've been using since 2008, I think. It's been like 10 years. And I like the sound to be really full of reverb because... It's just sustain the sound more. So if I play something like this, it's very simple. But it sounds beautiful, okay? And this is the type of sound that I like. Now guys, in terms of recording the music, I usually always have three guitars, okay? And what I mean by that is that I have the main guitar, which is the one that I usually show you in a lesson. And then I will have a sort of a complement guitar and the percussion, okay? And these are all recorded separately. Now, I don't use a loop station, and so I have to record the whole thing for about a minute, depending on the structure I want to give to the lesson. I will record this guitar part for a minute. Then I start again and record up to a minute. Now, the second thing that I will do is probably add another guitar, which is sort of an accompaniment, something to emphasize the chords, which is never in the same range. So, for example, if I record the main part here, I want to record the accompaniment uh, in a different range. And so, for this example, I'm going to play this guitar part. Okay. Now we're going to listen to it so that you can have an idea and then I show you more or less what I do. Now guys, I'm literally playing the same chords just in a different position. So this is an A major. Okay, which is the first chord that I'm playing. Then I'm playing an A major, which is the second chord. Then an F sharp minor, which is the third chord. And a D major, which is the last chord that I'm playing. Now, obviously, I don't want to play the whole thing. I just want to make it musical. And so what I'll do, rather than just play the whole thing, I will just arpeggiate two notes of the chord. A major, E major, F sharp minor, and then the, the D major, okay? Now guys, the next step would be adding the percussion. And because of the condensed mic, I can use my guitar as a uh, drum. Now usually there is a lot of delay, so I will just get rid of the delay and just use the reverb. Okay, or the reverb. That's it, okay? And so I will just record the whole thing again. I will do one take, another take, and record the percussion. Very simple. 
They just listen to it. Now that's it guys, three things. The main part, the main guitar part, which is the one that I usually teach you, and then the accompaniment, which is usually very simple and in different range, and then the percussion. Sometimes I could also add maybe, you know, one or two single notes, like a solo, but I don't do that all the time because I don't want the music to uh, be busy, okay? I want it to be clear, especially when I teach you something, I don't want you to get confused between the backing track and what I have to teach you, okay? So very simple. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and and please, guys, make sure that you focus on the music a lot. I'm sure there are many different ways to achieve a better sound than you know the one that I have, uh, more pure and maybe better if you wanna sell your music as well. But at the same time, I feel like that sometimes we spend too much time thinking about buying the best mic and buying the best guitar. Just you know, like focus on the music and focus on the sound that you wanna get. Sometimes you don't necessarily need to have the best thing of everything. Just use what works for you and then you'll be absolutely fine, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'm gonna see you on the next video for another lesson.